Hi there. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. It is Monday. It is December the 15th. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. Hope they had a good weekend. Uh, we're well rested, ready to start a new day. We've got problems out on the 401 at Mavis already. A tractor trailer is going to cross three lanes. Maybe oh. problems. All right. Well, let's take a quick look at our current temperatures. We're pretty mild. Above, um, certainly above seasonal. It's 10 days away. Mm -hmm. Christmas is 10 days away. Well, I guess I better think about shopping. <sighs> You are just like I my am, husband. I'm starting to think about it. Except now. he's getting stressed about it. You're not stressed about it. He's oh, no. stressed about no, it. No, no, I just write down. Okay, I want that, that, that. Okay, uh -huh. gone. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, over the weekend, uh, town, it just looks beautiful at this time of year, doesn't it? Will we see a white Christmas? Ooh, we'll talk about that in the long range. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Not a bad day today. We're going to see uh, mostly cloudy skies, but above seasonal temperatures. And tomorrow, we've got some wet weather on the way. A new low is going to be moving in, giving us showers throughout the day. But temperatures really mild. Daytime high of 5 degrees. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Monday. It is the 15th of December. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. 10 days till Christmas. Amazing, isn't it? How yeah. fast it goes? It just flies by. I like the older you get, the faster it goes. Because when you're a kid, you're anxiously waiting, right? So it's like one day, every day, seems like it drags on forever mm. until you get to Christmas morning. It's getting exciting, though. I was watching my granddaughters yesterday playing with Christmas stuff. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was kind of fun. Totally. Yeah. It's always for the kids. Oh, well. <laughs> and I'm some still, adults. I'm still so. a kid. Yeah. <laughs> About three degrees. So it's not too bad. But drizzle. Drizzle in the forecast. Yeah, this, uh, yesterday was kind of drizzly, too. Gray and mm -hmm. drizzly, you know. This, this mm -hmm. system's just sort of caught here, and it's not really moving. No, we have a lot of moisture in the air, and that's why we do have fog advisories to places like London, down through uh, Essex, and through uh, Middlesex County. Mm. So if you're heading in that direction, that's where you can see some fog. Yeah, snow melting away, yeah. slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh, over the weekend, Carol downtown in Markham, I really like it. The architecture is quite quite nice. All right, we'll talk about the long range. We'll get into the rest of the week, and even the weekend we'll take a peek at. But first, here's Tom with well, today we're seeing quite a bit of cloud cover. We do have that risk for a little bit of drizzle throughout the afternoon, but temperatures are quite mild. We can thank that southerly flow for that, getting above our seasonal average. We should be around minus one for this time of year. Rain starts to move in throughout the day tomorrow. It is going to be fairly consistent. Uh, we could see periods of heavy rain, uh, but then it will start to taper off by late Tuesday and into Wednesday. We'll still be left with the potential for a little bit of mixing early Wednesday morning. Temperatures will be cold enough, and then finally by Thursday into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do start to clear out and we may even see some sunshine, but temperatures are really starting to cool down, not to the point of freezing, but just around our seasonal average. Well, we are going to see quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today, but temperature-wise, we're actually going to be above our seasonal average. Tomorrow, we do have some rain moving in. Wednesday morning, early day, we may see a bit of a rain-snow mix. Temperatures are going to drop behind that cold front. By Thursday and into Friday, conditions will start to improve. We've got high pressure moving in. That system... I don't know. I'm keeping my eye on it because we're showing our seven day to be seeing no precipitation for both Saturday and Sunday. But I don't know. Seeing that precip on the map makes me think otherwise. So temperatures so far this week are going to be above seasonal. They're not going to start to flip until Wednesday and into Thursday. That's an early daytime high for Wednesday. It's going to drop throughout the day. And then we're looking at closer to seasonal values just in time for the weekend. And if the sun sticks around, it's a good weekend to do some shopping. Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Monday. It is the 15th of December. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and we have problems on the 401 westbound through Mavis. We'll update that situation. Happened a little while ago, so a bit of a delay. And uh, otherwise, not a bad day. We're not seeing this kind of fog, which is good news no. for us, because I know places down towards London and through Middlesex mm -hmm. and Elgin dealing with some pretty dense fog. But for us, uh, the moisture is just not quite there yet. It's not quite yeah, that's just, just fine. Yeah. And the temperatures are quite reasonable. And yeah, uh, yeah just a lot of moisture in the air. Yeah, it's not going to be a great day for seeing a lot of sunshine. Now, over the weekend, uh, thankfully, temperatures were warm for this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you could pay me enough money to A, put on a Speedo, or B, put on my bikini. And I mean, I know it's for charity and it's for a good cause, right. but you would not catch me doing There's that. some people here that seem to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, there isn't one person there that isn't in good shape. They're Tom. all in pretty good shape. <laughs> That's yeah. why I wouldn't yeah. do yeah. it. <laughs> there would be more jiggling than there should be. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> but it was all for Sick Kids Hospital, so that's an amazing, an amazing initiative. All right, we'll talk more about the long range and not about us jiggling. <laughs> You're still with traffic. You look kind of cute, actually, jig visual. jiggling down the road. <laughs> you saying I jiggle? I didn't say that. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's go and see how we're doing. Now he's changing topics rapidly. He said. Well, we are going to see quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. Not a ton of sunshine. We take all that moisture and we could potentially see a little bit of afternoon drizzle as well. So grab your umbrella just before you head out. We've got a new low that's going to be moving in throughout the day tomorrow. This is going to be giving us more consistent rain. We could see some bands of heavier showers throughout the day. It will start to clear out. Tuesday overnight and into Wednesday, but temperatures are going to be dropping pretty dramatically behind that cold front. So I wouldn't be surprised Wednesday morning if we woke up to a little bit of mixing. But by Wednesday afternoon, temperatures will warm up and we won't see too much in the way of um, snowfall. That system is going to move out. Excuse me. High pressure starts to move in for Friday and into Saturday. So we may actually see some sunshine over the weekend and temperatures are going to be dropping closer to seasonal. You were going to say 22 hours. <laughs> Well, regardless, we're going to see fog for a lot of that uh, down towards the south. A lot of cloud cover for us through the GTA throughout the day today, possibly even some drizzle this afternoon. We do have a low that's going to be moving in later on tonight and into tomorrow that is going to be bringing us some rain fairly consistently throughout the day. We may see some heavy bands mixed in there. By Wednesday morning, I wouldn't be surprised because temperatures are going to be dropping pretty significantly behind this cold front that we are going to see the potential for a bit of a rain-snow mix to kick off Wednesday morning. And then temperatures Temperatures are going to be dropping throughout the day. We'll see uh, daytime highs hovering around the freezing mark for Thursday, but high pressure moving in. So by Friday and possibly even into the weekend, we may see some sunshine. Well, if you're just heading out to grab your breakfast, temperatures are going to be relatively mild this morning, but we may see some fog. It could be dense in some areas, other areas not so much. Three degrees for Toronto. Down through Hamilton, we're looking at two degrees. We've got some light rain in the forecast through places like Orangeville and in through Kitchener. Up through Barrie, some fog patches are going to be quite likely if you're traveling this morning up through Pembroke. It's much cooler. We're looking at minus three down towards the south. It's mild Windsor at seven degrees. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. Did you notice that Southern Ontario was not included in that list? <laughs> we do not certainly have the longest winters yet. People like myself love to complain about how long our winter is. <laughs> I need to consider myself lucky. Okay, uh, the probability of a white Christmas. Who's dreaming for one? I don't mind a white Christmas. I'll take it for a couple of days and then it can just, you know. <laughs> well, we're looking at about a 50% chance, 50 to 80% chance it gets a little bit higher the further north and east you go, like places like Ottawa, pretty much a guarantee you've got so much snow, they've got so much snow on the ground right now that they're looking at a uh, potentially white Christmas because Christmas is only 10 days away, 10 days away. All right, across the Prairie Provinces, they're certainly looking at the potential for a white Christmas. Down through British Columbia, into the Lower Mainland, if you're traveling to Vancouver, Victoria to visit some friends, eh, 20%. And I mean, they could see like this much snow and it would still be a white Christmas for them. <laughs> so here's some probability. We're looking at uh, Toronto 57% to be exact. So we're kind of smack dab in the middle. Will we see it? Will we not see it? It's really going to depend on this weekend and next weekend's, obviously, weather. Uh, in through Montreal, 80% chance. If you really, really want to see a white Christmas, Regina is the place to be. 91%. <laughs> System moving through tomorrow, we are going to see some rain, not snow. Temperatures are just going to be too warm. But then we will start to clear out in time for the weekend. We may, in fact, see some sunshine. Here's Tom now with an update on traffic. All right, thanks so much, Kevin. Yes, yeah, certainly poor visibility on many roads, but not necessarily through the downtown core. Yeah, this looks like we're in a special effect, doesn't it? Sort of the, we know, are a special spe effect. Huh? Special effects. <laughs> Steve's getting creative today. Foggy around us. Anyway, yes, uh, it's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, downtown, no fog. No is what fog. I was no, that's right. You're right. I mean, it, down to the west of us, fog here, mm -hmm. we have really not too bad a condition. Uh, White Christmas, are you hoping for it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, areas to the west of us and to the north of us, certainly a much higher percentage. If you want a white Christmas, Saskatchewan is the place to be. <laughs> All right, we'll talk more about the long-range forecast, but first, Tom, what's going on? Quite a cloudy day today. We are going to see temperatures above our seasonal average. We're looking at about four, three degrees for the city of Toronto. We should be closer to minus one. We are going to be seeing an area of low pressure move in throughout the day tomorrow that is going to be bringing us rain. Temperatures still quite mild. We're looking at five degrees. And then through the day, temperatures are going to be dropping on Wednesday. And we're going to see the potential for uh, rain snow mix to start off. And then high pressure starts to move in. We are going to be seeing some sunshine getting us closer to the weekend. Thanks, Tom. Well, we do have quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today, but temperatures are going to be above our seasonal average. We're looking at a daytime high of three degrees. Now, we do have the potential for some afternoon drizzle as well, and then the rain, that'll start to come in tomorrow with this next system that's going to be pushing through. But temperatures with that southerly flow, we're looking at five degrees for Tuesday. 
Now, overnight into Wednesday, we do have this cold front moving through, and that is going to drop our temperatures fairly significantly. So we're going to be going from about 5 degrees to about 0 by Thursday. So a uh, huge change. And I wouldn't be surprised early Wednesday morning if we did see a bit of a rain snow mix with the system moving out. So it might make for a bit of a slick commute. Come Thursday, again, we do have temperatures that are hovering around the freezing mark and then getting cooler over the weekend. But it looks as though we just might see some sunshine. Oh, yeah, so it is. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. We'll check back with you in just a little while. Uh, a lot of places are really, really festive. I mean, Christmas is 10 days away. Mm -hmm. 10 days. <clears throat> yeah, it's almost time to start thinking about shopping. Oh. My sister, she's got everything wrapped. Well, yeah, thing. because women are normally more prepared. Well, I guess. I mean, my wife's prepared, but she, I, I'm going to just go and start shopping. White <clears> Christmas, <throat> maybe, depending on where you live. So we're kind of smack dab in the middle. We'll talk more about the long range. We'll get you even into this weekend coming up. But first, Tom, what's going on on the road? Well, quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. Temperatures getting up to about three degrees. We do have that risk for some afternoon drizzle. And then tomorrow, the real rain moves in. Now, I just want to pause it quickly on Wednesday because Wednesday morning, we do have the potential with temperatures colder behind that cold front and those northwesterly winds picking up a little bit of strength. We can see a little bit of a rain snow mix to start the day, but by Wednesday afternoon, most of this system will have cleared out. Thursday, the lake effect engines could kick up again, so we could see some light snow and then Friday possibly some sunshine with that high pressure moving in keeping an eye on that system for the upcoming weekend but so far things look pretty good through the GTA all right thanks so much Gavin we totally get the gist of it yeah. I know it gets confusing when temperatures are just almost the same everywhere yeah basically all above freezing and uh, that's not bad yeah that is better that than below freezing well, it depends on who you ask. Well, if we had all this moisture in the air and fog, it would mm -hmm. be freezing fog and ice, you see, which would not be good. No, but think about people that make their living off of this season. Think no, of all I the snowplow drivers. I don't want to think, think about them. Think of all the salters. I'm and not thinking about think them. Think of all the ski hill no, operators. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> All right, well, if you're hoping for a white Christmas, it's really going to depend on where you're going to be. If you're traveling, eh, not so much. But for us, we're at about a 57%, so we could go either way at this point. Your long range is coming up, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Not as many problems as in traffic, that's for sure. But we do have a system on the way that is going to be bringing us rain. Temperatures are just going to be two miles to see snow with this next low coming in for tomorrow. Uh, by Wednesday, there is the potential for a bit of a rain snow mix to start the day. Once this system moves off, we'll see high pressure move in, which means we could actually be seeing some sunshine by the weekend. Now, I'm keeping my eye on this little system down at the bottom of your screen because I don't know, it's starting to frighten me a little bit over the weekend. But as we stand right now, we're looking at a little bit of sunshine and temperatures are going to be returning to more seasonal values. Well, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. And we do have that risk for some afternoon drizzle. So grab an umbrella, rain jacket. You probably won't need your heavy winter jacket today because we're going to see a daytime high four. Rain moving in with this next system throughout the day tomorrow and temperatures are going to cool dramatically behind that cold front. So come early Wednesday morning, we may actually see a little bit of a rain snow mix. Could be making your drive a little slick. But once this low moves out, temperatures still staying quite cool. We've got high pressure moving in, but we also have these northwesterly winds. So I wouldn't be surprised if on Thursday into Friday we did see a little bit of lake effect, but it looks as though we're going to see some sunshine for the weekend. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Well, it is when everybody's kind of hovering around the freezing mark and you're doing every kind of city in the vicinity. That's right. Just say it's above freezing everywhere. Yes. That's what I like. <laughs> There's no freezing anywhere, which is good, except up north, of course. Yes, where they want the snow badly. Uh, well, are you going to have a white Christmas? Maybe. So if you're going to Vancouver, Victoria, you actually have less of a chance than you do here, of course. But uh, anywhere across the Prairie Provinces, pretty good. If you want a white Christmas guaranteed, head to Regina, Saskatchewan. That's where you'll see it. <laughs> All right, we'll continue to talk about your long-range forecast in just a moment. But first, Tom, what's going on on the roads? Well, we are going to be seeing uh, quite a bit of cloud cover and drizzle throughout the day today. And then tomorrow, we do have a new system approaching, but this is not going to be snow. This is going to be rain. Temperatures getting up to 5 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised Wednesday morning when we do have some lingering moisture because our temperatures are going to be dropping behind that cold front. We may actually see a tiny bit of a rain-snow mix. Once this all starts to clear it, we've got high pressure moving in, but northwesterly winds could give us a little bit of lake effect coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay. But it looks as though if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping, this will be a weekend to do it. We've got temperatures hovering around the freezing mark and there is the potential for us to see some sunshine anywhere throughout the GTA. Back inside you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. It definitely, it definitely has, that, has kind that kind of spooky, spooky eerie, eerie, eerie feel to it, doesn't it? Damp. Yeah. It's damp. damp. Gray. Yeah. Haunting. Haunting. Yeah. Eerie. Nasty. <laughs>
<laughs> we could go on and on like this all day. Uh, well, it's only 10 days away, Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And uh, Dr. Doug Gilliam and I were just talking about the probability of a white Christmas. And that's something. <laughs> we'll talk more about the long range in a moment. First, here's Tom. Well, we are going to be seeing a lot of cloud cover today, and the potential is there for some drizzle, but mild temperatures. We're getting out to a daytime high 4 degrees today, so <laughs> seasonal should be around minus 1. Tomorrow, we do have this system on the way, and it is going to be bringing us some rain. Now, it's not going to be a ton of rain, but it's just going to be a on and off inconsistent amount of rain. And then we actually get into a decent long-range forecast. We're going to see some sunshine over the weekend. Yay! Everybody loves a little sunshine, especially if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping yet, right? Uh, temperatures are going to be hovering around the freezing mark for both Saturday and Sunday, so get out and get it done. Thanks, Tom. Well, we are going to be seeing quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. Temperatures, however, are above our seasonal average. We have that southerly flow that's kind of warming us up. We're going to be at about 3 degrees for the afternoon. Now, tonight and into tomorrow, we do have a system approaching. This is going to be bringing us some wet weather. We're going to see some rain with this. Temperatures are still going to be much too warm for snow. 5 degrees is our daytime high for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning, temperatures are going to be dropping dramatically behind that cold front. So I wouldn't be surprised if we woke up Wednesday morning with a little little bit of a rain-snow mix before this system tapers off towards the east. Now, throughout the day on Thursday, the potential is there for a little bit of lake effect. Temperatures will be cold enough, but then as we get closer to the weekend, there is the potential for us to see some sunshine, but temperatures are certainly going to go back to seasonal, hovering around at the freezing mark for much of the GTA. On this day in 2000, we had 30 centimeters of snow on the ground through the city of Toronto. And today, we have puddles, we have mud, and, well, a little bit of lingering dirty snow hanging out. <laughs> Yesterday, temperatures were mild. We got up to 4.3 downtown, up through Collingwood. We got up to about 3 degrees in through Waterloo, 3.3. So most areas were at or above our seasonal average. We should be around minus 1 for this time of year. We are going to stay relatively mild throughout the day today. Uh, we are going to see temperatures get up to 4 degrees, so these kind of yellowy, white, light blues coming in through southern Ontario. As you can see, we do have a system approaching, and behind that, we've got much cooler air, that dark blue and those northwesterly winds. They're going to cool us down by Wednesday, and then we're going to stay pretty cool as we get closer to the weekend. We've got a system on the way that is going to be bringing us rain. Tomorrow's going to be relatively mild. We're looking at a daytime high of 5 degrees. Like I said, we should be at about minus 1. We're looking at about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain, generally speaking. This afternoon, we do have some drizzle in the forecast. So if you're just about to head out, grab your umbrella. You just might need it this afternoon, or at least your rain jacket. You probably don't need your heavy winter coat today because we're looking at a daytime high of 4 degrees. Four in Orangeville, 4 in Kitchener, 6 in Brantford. This evening, we're also going to stay close to 4 degrees. We still have that southerly wind keeping us mild, so if you're heading out, that's quite comfortable. And then as we get closer to the weekend for Wednesday, I would say Wednesday morning, there's a decent chance for us seeing a bit of a rain-snow mix. But that temperature is going to drop throughout the day, and by Thursday, we're looking at the freezing mark. Friday and Saturday, may see some sun. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Monday. It is the 15th of December. Hard to believe that Christmas is only 10 days away. And we do have some rain in the forecast. Well, that's not hard to believe. That's kind of easy to believe with our temperatures as warm as they are. I mean, we're mild. We're looking at a daytime high today, 4 degrees. So we've got this system pushing in tonight and into tomorrow. It's going to be falling as all rain. Temperatures getting up to 5 degrees for Tuesday afternoon. About 5 to 10 millimeters expected for us. Quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the GTA today. We are going to be seeing the potential for a little bit of drizzle this afternoon. There's just a lot of lingering moisture in the air. And then once the system moves through for Tuesday and into Wednesday, it looks as though we could potentially see a little bit of a rain-snow mix behind this cold front. Winds are going to shift direction and things are going to cool down pretty dramatically. This afternoon, 4 degrees, there's that drizzle, so grab an umbrella if you're heading out. We're looking at mild temperatures right across the board. 4 for Toronto, 5 in Hamilton, 6 in Brantford, getting up to 4 in Barrie, and 3 in New Market Mar 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 But most areas are going to be seeing some drizzle. This evening, our temperatures don't change that much. We stay consistent at 4 through Toronto, 3 through Hamilton. The rain will taper off, that light drizzle. It'll taper off for the evening hours, but then we do have that new system coming in throughout the day tomorrow that is going to be bringing us more consistent rainfall. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Wednesday morning we do see a little bit of a rain-snow mix because temperatures behind this cold front are going to drop fairly dramatically. We're looking at about the freezing mark for Thursday. But for Wednesday, just because we're going to be hovering around that freezing mark as temperatures plunge, that is where we could see that rain-snow mix. 
High pressure moves in behind it, but so does northwesterly wind. So I wouldn't be surprised on Thursday if we do see a little bit of lake effect. And then Friday and Saturday and Sunday looks as though we just might see a little bit of sunshine. Looking at the long range forecast now, Doug, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum joining us, of course. Doug, I don't think too many people are going to be too upset about the mild temperatures unless they love snow and then they just have to head west, right? Right, yeah. Our December thaw has wiped out what appeared to be to many a sure white Christmas. But we do have another pattern change in the works as we head towards Christmas. So not all hope is lost. Okay. Uh, we're going to return to a pattern from Christmas to New Year's that will resemble what we saw in November and most of last winter. So we still have a shot of a white Christmas. But like most people in their shopping, it's going to wait till the last minute. Yeah, that's our friend Tom Reynolds. <laughs> he waits until the very last minute. Okay, so as we get into Wednesday, I mean, we've got that rain coming in kind of early this week, and mm -hmm. then the potential is there with those temperatures dropping behind that cold front to see a bit of mixing. Right, we'll see a mixture of rain and snow showers. Could see a dusting to a coating in the GTA a little bit more as you head towards cottage country. That won't be enough for a white Christmas, okay. but temperatures do return to seasonal. And then the weather's fairly quiet Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday, uh, interesting situation, mm. uh, northeastern states, mid-Atlantic, will see a significant winter storm. At this point, it looks like the snow will stay just south of the GTA. Question mark. See the question yes. mark? Snow stay south? Maybe, maybe not. There are some signs that we do get a couple centimeters into the GTA, and especially Niagara could see some okay. snow on Saturday. Okay, so keep that in mind, shoppers, across the border, shoppers especially. Uh, for Sunday, we return to more seasonal values. We're going to see some sunshine. That's good news. Yes. Uh, and weather is fairly quiet leading up till Christmas, but again, as we look into the days around Christmas, as we see this pattern change, it looks like a rather active weather pattern. It could be a significant storm that will disrupt huh. travel in parts of eastern Canada between Christmas Eve and Boxing Day. So definitely stay tuned to that too early to determine the exact impact on the GTA, but it does look like some snow will be showing up right around Christmas. All right, so all in all, if you have not done your shopping this weekend, get out and get it done. What you're looking at is the weekend weather through Waterloo. And and today, a little bit more fog in the forecast. Uh, we'll talk about this rainfall in just a few moments, but first, let's check in with Kevin. He's in beautiful Kitchener, Ontario this morning. And Kevin, no fog advisories in the Kitchener area, but still a fairly decent soupy mix. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Kevin. An English setter. I used to have an English setter when I was a kid. So cute. All right, talking about the rain, we have the potential for about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain with this new system that's going to be coming in tomorrow. Yes, we could see some drizzle today, but this is tomorrow's rain. So not an incredible amount, but enough to possibly melt all the snow away because temperatures are going to be 5 degrees. Today we're getting up to a daytime high of 4, and there's that risk for that afternoon drizzle and quite a bit of cloud cover. In comes the system through the overnight. We'll start to see that leading edge by tomorrow afternoon. We'll see some fairly decent rainfall. We could see some heavier bands at times. And then behind the system, I wouldn't be surprised because temperatures are going to be dropping behind that cold front that Wednesday morning. We may actually wake up to a bit of a rain snow mix. Today we do have some drizzle in 4 degrees anywhere throughout southern Ontario. We're looking at really mild temperatures. 3 degrees for Newmarket and Oshawa getting up to 6. For Brantford, we're looking at 4 through Kitchener and Orangeville. And this evening, temperatures don't change that dramatically, but the fog starts to pick up again, especially areas uh, north and west of us through Orangeville and Kitchener more specifically. 4 degrees for tonight, well, this evening. So if you're heading out, uh, just dress for the conditions. It will feel a little bit cooler than that. We're looking at that system moving out throughout the day on Wednesday. We'll start to see a bit of a clearing trend, but... We do have northwesterly winds, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a little bit of lake effect. That high pressure moving in could also potentially give us a little bit of sunshine for the weekend. You only have about nine shopping days left. So this weekend, it looks as though it's going to be fairly decent anywhere throughout the GTA. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground to make it festive, uh, but it wasn't too cold. Temperatures yesterday got almost up to five degrees through Markham. So yeah, it was pretty warm. Do you have a chance of a white Christmas? Well, depending on where you live. I mean, if you're north in northern Manitoba, northern Saskatchewan, northern Alberta, or up towards uh, the Northwest Territories, yeah, you're probably going to see a white Christmas. For us, uh, it's not as likely. Uh, I mean, for British Columbia, if you're traveling out to Vancouver, Victoria, you've got about a 20% shot. For us, we're looking at about 57% uh, shot through the city of Toronto. Uh, Winnipeg, I mean, it's a sure thing pretty much when you're at 98%. <laughs> For us, it's really going to depend, obviously, on the weather for the next week and see what kind of systems we come in, that come in. If they go to the north, we could see rain. If they go to the south, we could see snow. So it's really going to be dependent on that.
Ottawa is going to see an 83% chance of a white Christmas in Regina. Well, again, pretty much a sure thing, 91%. <laughs> this afternoon, we do have some drizzle in the forecast. Our temperatures are just too mild to make this snow. We're looking at 4 degrees. Tonight, also quite mild if you're heading out. I mean, dress for it because it is going to feel a little bit cooler when you factor in the wind. But for the most part, it's going to be really mild. Uh, right through this evening, we do have some fog patches in some areas, especially further north and down towards the south. We're looking at 3 degrees through Hamilton, 4 through Toronto, 5 in London. Look at Windsor. 7 degrees for an evening temperature. Now, we do have that drizzle on the way for today, and tomorrow we do have a system that's going to be approaching the lower Great Lakes, giving us some wet weather. Now, Wednesday morning, because we're going to see a cold front come through Tuesday night, there is the potential for a little bit of mixing, so it could be making your roadways a little slick for your commute. Maybe give yourself a little bit of extra travel time. And then throughout the day on Wednesday, this system is just going to clear right off to our north and to our east, but we may pick up some lake effect, because notice these winds? They're going to be coming in from more of a northwesterly direction, but we also have high pressure moving in, which means we just might see some sunshine just in time for the weekend. So if you haven't finished or even started your Christmas shopping, this weekend is a good weekend to get out. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Monday. It is the 15th of December, and can you believe there's only 10 days left until Christmas? It's amazing how fast this month has gone by. We've had our share of snow and rain, and now we're dealing with a little bit of fog. Kevin Yard joins us in Kitchener this morning, where we don't have any fog advisories in place, but it's still pretty soupy, isn't it? All right, thanks so much. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty foggy. No advisories yet, though, through Kitchener and through Waterloo. But south of that, down towards London and through Middlesex and Essex County, we're seeing some fog advisories. Will we see a white Christmas? Well, the probability is there, but more so depending on where you're traveling. If you're staying home for Christmas in southern Ontario, well, you've got about a 57% chance. Uh, and through Winnipeg, it's pretty much a sure thing. 98% chance of having a white Christmas. Uh, and through Montreal, chances are pretty good. Same goes for Ottawa, Regina, almost a sure thing at 91%. Calgary and Edmonton, well, they vary differently. Edmonton is a lot further north in Calgary, of course, so temperatures have been a little bit colder and they have seen a little bit more snow. Uh, Calgary is almost comparative to Toronto, really, in percentage-wise. Four degrees for this afternoon. We are going to see quite a bit of cloud cover today and some drizzle on and off throughout the day. It's not going to be heavy, but you just may want to grab your rain jacket. It's too warm to wear your winter jacket, your big heavy parka today. We're looking at four degrees this evening as well, so staying really mild with that southerly flow. This evening, zero through Kingston, four through St. Catharines, three through Hamilton. So if you are traveling, temperatures kind of vary because look at Windsor. Seven degrees, still really, really mild. Now, we do have a system approaching tomorrow that will give us fairly consistent rainfall. Could be waking up on Wednesday morning to a bit of a rain-snow mix with cooler temperatures.